Hey everybody, I wanted to make a video demonstrating three different ways to obtain an overdriven sound using the Quilter Micro Pro Mac 2. I've been a proud owner of the Micro Pro Mac 2 for about 18 months now. Many gigs under my belt with it, delighted with it, uh, performs so well uh, in live situations, very, very versatile, use it for for rock gigs, blues gigs, jazz gigs, uh, I've used it with the microphone and guitar as well. Uh, but I wanted to share with you some of my experiences of uh, different ways in which to get overdri overdriven sounds out of the thing. Two of the uh, options that we're going to explore are solely from within the quilter itself, and the third involves using an overdrive pedal. Um, so let's get going here. Um, I'm going to use a Gibson Les Paul, 2001 Les Paul that's loaded with burst bookers. I'm going to be in the bridge position and just for reference, um, here's a basic clean sound. So there's the basic clean sound. Um, the first option that we're going to consider is to use the foot and by the way i'm using a two button foot switch um, the programmable two button foot switch that allows you to program the two different buttons in different ways uh, i'm basically using the first button to switch between a gain one and gain two uh, and the second button to deploy the boost um, so i'm going to start by switching to gain one you can see the lights light up there um, on the gain one channel um, and the way I'm achieving an overdrive and sound here is to play off the, the master control with the gain control. You can see the gain is up pretty high, it's around 3 o'clock, and the master is just under 9 o'clock, um, and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> within the quilter to produce the next overdriven sound. Um, in addition to performing a function as a clean boost, the boost can actually also serve as uh, an overdrive uh, capability um, if you use the cream setting. Uh, the cream setting is kind of the equivalent of sticking uh, an overdrive pedal in your signal chain. Um, so I'm playing into the Gain 2 channel I'm going to use the foot switch now to turn on the boost, as you can see, and the boost is set to uh, 3 o'clock uh, and it's in the cream setting. And this is what that sounds like. I'm going to try and play more or less the same thing, not exactly note for note. <laughs> Thank you. 
option three uh, is to go into either one of the channels. I'm just going to demonstrate this with the, the Gain 2 channel. Um, with the channel itself set on a clean setting, Gain 2 is always clean. It's, it's a clean channel. You can't make that dr drive in and of itself. Um, and, but using an overdrive pedal. And the overdrive pedal in question that I'm going to use is a, a Wampler Euphoria, which is my current uh, overdrive of choice. Um, when I uh, get done with showing you uh, how this sounds, um, I'll hone in on the, uh, I'll, I'll move the camera so that you can actually see the settings on the Euphoria. So just clicking on the Euphoria, and again, trying to play more or less the same thing. So here we go. settings on the Wampler. Uh, I'm going to move the camera down to my pedal board and zoom in a little here. Um, basically the Wampler has um, a three position toggle switch and there we go. Three position toggle switch. Uh, it's in the crunch position. As you can see uh, the tone control is at four. Uh, four o'clock. Um, the bass setting is around nine o'clock. The volume is a little shy of noon, and the gain control is at twelve. Um, so there you go. And I will say that um, I try to get these these uh, overdrives to to sound as similar as possible. Um, the one I use the least uh, is the one involving um, using the boost in the queen position. Um, that's primarily because I tend to use the boost as a clean boost and so I tend to use it in the loud position. Um, that means that I tend to use the uh, the gain one channel um, for drive and the euphoria pedal for drive uh, primarily. Um, and I find that gives me um, a, a nice variety. Um, you can go more diverse in terms of the different sounds but um, for this purpose I wanted to show uh, the three different options with fairly similar sounds. Hope this has been useful. Thanks. <laughs>